is up everybody buddy 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 and welcome back to another marvel snap video 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 so today guys bring you all a brand new deck and now this deck is a cerebro deck um so i'm sure as you guys could already see we have like a bunch of um you know cards that are pretty low in power however that will help us when we do end up um playing cerebro because if you guys don't know um cerebro's ability is basically um if well i think it's um the cards with the highest power have like plus three power so if all your cards are like the same power they'll all gain that plus three power which is definitely the strategy here um and I mean, yeah, we also have Invisible Woman who will help us um, conceal Cerebro. So that way, um, you know, the opponent can't counter that. And we also have, you know, just like a bunch of um, really good two power cards. We have Goose, who's also really good. Oh, that's beautiful. The fact that Blue Marvel went there as well is beautiful. It kind of sucks that it ended up getting revealed though, even though I have Invisible Woman, but... Oh well. I'm gonna move- yes! Oh, beautiful, 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 dude. Now watch this. This is gonna be greatness. They think they win. But I don't think so. I mean, to be fair, I don't even know what their strategy could be, but... I still have a lot of faith that we're gonna win. Um, we also have M'Baku, who is a, um, recent card. Not really the best. Um, if he's in your deck at the end of the game, he jumps to a random location. Um, so he's not the he's not the best like new card. However, he actually works pretty well in this deck. So I am super excited. And this is also a deck that someone used to reach to infinity. So again, this deck seems to be pretty good. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And of course, our Cerebro. Beautiful, beautiful. See, look at all these buffs, dude. Look at all these buffs. I don't know why he placed Artem Zola over at the Dark Dimension. That's kind of weird. Um, but I mean, yeah, I guess GG's to them. Oh, that is beautiful. The Nexus. Bro, the Nexus is such good location. Um, I might just place a nice Nightcrawler there. Invisible Woman and Cerebro. I love to see that. Because we already know that's a really good combo. Ah, uh, I don't really like your name. Um, but the plan is... Oh, wow, they hit me for Scorpion, that's tough. But the plan is to basically stack, um, the Nexus. Um... No! Are you freaking kidding? That is so annoying, dude. Why did we get the Savage Land? Oh my goodness, that ruined my plans so much. Oh my goodness, that is annoying. That's actually so annoying. Because the plan was to um unleash the Invisible Woman Cerebro combo. And, oh my goodness. Wow, this is tough, okay. Okay, this this just got tougher. This just got really, really tough. Um Yeah, dude, I might as well do that. Might as well drop Embarku over there. I don't know what's gonna happen, but this game just went from looking good to just not looking good at all, dude. It went from we could potentially win this to it's not looking so great to this. And yeah, this dude's... Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, I guess it all just... Now it depends on the next card we play because... One of us has got to have a heavy hitter. Brr. This combination looks amazing though. Cerebro, Mystique, and Blue Marvel. However, we can't even do that. Because... Yeah. Ah, that's so tough. I'm, I'm 
cops are sad, dude. Oh, that... Dude, Savage Land messed us up. Yeah, he's got Infinite, and we just lose. <laughs> we just lose, dude. Like, oh my goodness. That game went from looking so promising to just too flooded in a Savage Land. <sighs> but I mean, GG's to them. Okay, the Strange Academy. Oh, the Strange Academy is not that bad of a location. It's just kind of annoying because it's just random. You know, it just moves them randomly, so you don't know where they're going to go. And of course, we get TVA, dude. After turn four, we end the game. That is so annoying. I mean, we do have Storm, which is kind of nice. So they might try to um, play like really aggressively. And then we can just, yeah, play Storm. That will give us, you know, our full six turns. I got a feeling that's who they played as well. Unless it's like Scarlet Witch. Oh no, never mind. Well, I might as well just play Brood. Which means I spend a Nightcrawler gonna move over to the Stark Tower. Looks like they're running a, a negative deck, which is kind of concerning. Well, um, Scorpion. Oh, dude, I, m I might as well just drop Blue Marvel, right? Might as well drop Blue Marvel. And we're gonna see who we get. We might get Sweepro next turn, which would be nice, but it's hard to even know. This is also kind of a tough game, just because the Strange Academy is gonna move everyone. And they just like three stacked over there, which is okay. They got the Adam Warlock. Oh, they are so lucky, dude, because Adam's gonna draw that out that card for them. Yeah. Dang. Well, let's see where the cards are going. Oh, wow. Okay, so he called him out flooded. That's interesting. I still reckon we win, though, because of this combo right here. Um, it's a beautiful combo. <laughs> There's, like, nothing else I can say. It's just such a beautiful combo. I don't know how he's going to win over flooded. He could just skip because of Sunspot, but he decides not to. Oh my goodness, I forgot we had Blue Marvel on. Oh my gosh. Bro, I forgot we had Blue Marvel. So Blue Marvel takes... Oh. No way. And we end up just getting swept. Dude, I 1000% forgot that Blue Marvel would just get them all. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that is a that's an oopsie on my part. I was I was so confident as well, but GG's to them. Okay, Mule Island, I like that. I like that we also get Goose. I mean Goose is just a good card to kind of stop your opponent from dropping like a bunch of really strong cards. Uh then we get the Warrior Falls, which isn't too bad. I just hope this last one's a, a decent one. Otherwise, that would be really annoying. Oh, he's going to have to wait and see. And it is... Okay, that, that's not bad. That's definitely not bad. I just... It oh, it can go so many different ways from y'all. Like, I do not know how this is going to go. Because Warrior Fall is going to be annoying. And it depends where Invisible Woman goes. Okay, I'm surprised he played Iron Art. I feel like that's a little bit early. We get Mbaku, which he's not really gonna help us. Um, I might as well just play Scorpion. I don't really want to play Mr. Sinister just yet. Um Wow, Bast, okay, on reveals and the power of all cards in your end of three. So this dude's definitely using a uh, a Silver Surfer deck, and he steals my Invisible Woman's ability, which is fine. Um, and yeah, she's gonna get destroyed, which 
that's kind of nice. I'll take it. Um, the thing with Warrior Falls is that the animation always feels like it takes forever. Which is so weird. Uh, oh. You know what? I'm going to go. I'm just going to drop Embarker over here. Because next turn I can do Cerebro Mystique. And I want to have that card room. Yeah, I really want to have that card room. This can either be really good or really, really bad. We're going to have to wait and see. Um, the thing that sucks though is that we have no like cards at other locations either. So, like, I really want to do this and then Mystique, but I don't know if that's going to be the best option. I feel like I have to go like this, right? Place Nightcrawler here. And, yeah. Um, because as much as I want to go Cerebro Mystique, we're just going to lose these two locations. And, of course, he's going to get copied, which is nice, but he's probably going to end up getting destroyed because of Warrior Falls, which is so annoying. Okay. Oh, dude, I forgot about... I forgot about the island. I forgot that with the island. Iceman is now like a... He's what? I couldn't even tell you. He has so much power. Yeah, I knew he was running a silver surfer. Oh my goodness. And he comes back and wins and sweeps us. That is ridiculous, dude. I mean, GG's to them. That, that was a good game. Uh, but I mean, yeah, guys. Yeah, guys. Yeah, guys. Yeah, guys. That was a, like, Cerebro and Baku deck. Uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. And also, if you guys did like the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to show support. I do appreciate all of it. Uh, real quick, guys. I do want to thank you all so much for 100 subscribers. That just means the world to me. That is insane. Um, we we got it so quickly. So again, thank you guys so much for that. And yeah, guys. Yeah, guys. Yeah, guys. Yeah, guys. Peace, 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 peace.